Funko finally announced the brand new Spider-Man No Way Home Pops. And I gotta say guys, I have been excited about these figures for a long time. I've been waiting for them since like the Thursday the movie released. And there is a giant list of characters. And let's start with these three here. We've got the Tom Holland Spider-Man as well as MJ and Doctor Strange. And I think out of these three here, because we have so many of the Tom Holland Spider-Man, that Doctor Strange has to be my favorite. And I do really like the MJ because it is very significant to the movie, but I mean, it looks very similar to the other one we got. But here's the thing though, guys, this is just the beginning because check out this next photo. I mean, come on, these three are amazing. We've got a perfect Dr. Octopus as well as Electro and the Green Goblin unmasked. These three look amazing. And something that I really enjoy about Dr. Octopus is that they made his claws red that kind of go with the Spider-Man suit. It's a perfect detail. And I don't know about you guys, but even though they didn't show the hair for Willem Dafoe, the face wrinkles still really do look like him. It's well done. And then, of course, when it comes to Electro, I like how they made it look like he's floating, and I wish that they made him glow in the dark. I don't know if there is a glow version. No, it doesn't look like it. Definitely a missed opportunity, but fingers crossed one comes in the future. And then after that, guys, here is all three of the Spider-Man, and I believe they're calling them three different things. So we've got the amazing Spider-Man, the friendly neighbor, neighborhood Spider-Man and then just Spider-Man which is of course Tom Holland. And if I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I could tell you which one's which because the suits are very similar, but I'm going to say left is ooh. Left is Toby Maguire. Top is Andrew Garfield, and then the right is Tom Holland for sure. I definitely know that one. And I also really like how Tom Holland's suit here is metallic. It looks amazing. And then we've got four Pocket Pops, which is all three versions of Spider-Man, as well as a metallic green goblin. It's a little bit different from the one that we looked at earlier, but we are also getting a normal size figure of that one, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And this one here is going to be exclusive to Hot Topic, as well as Box Lunch. So it doesn't matter which store you go to, you'll be able to pick it up at either or. And then everybody, we've got an amazing Amazon exclusive, which is a three pack of all of the Spider-Man. Spider-Mans? Spider-Man, you know what I mean. And so this here is pretty much the exact same suits just put into a bundle. And what I like about it is that they gave it the normal version of the Tom Holland Spider-Man and they didn't do the metallic because otherwise it would look weird with one of them being the metallic one and then the other two not. I like that they did this. And now the next exclusive that we've got is the biggest box I've seen in a while. It's an eight pack and all of them are going to Walmart. Take a look at this. And now you might notice something about this one that is a little bit different from the rest of the figures because this one here actually comes with two exclusive pops, the lizard as well as Sandman. And I honestly think it's really cool that they did that. It's kind of an incentive to want to pick up the eight pack. It's really sick. Oh, and by the way, you can already pre-order this one over on walmart.com and I did just to make sure I could get every single one of these figures. And so what I'm probably going to be doing is just going for the exclusives because I already have pretty much every single common with this. And even though I only pre-ordered it today, I can seriously not wait for these to come in because they look amazing, especially the way they did Sandman and how he's kind of like wrapping around a pipe. And then the lizard in this attack stance, it's amazing. And I do think that this is how they should continue doing the bundles because they did it for the Christmas Guardians of the Galaxy one where if you bought the bundle, that was the only way you could get Rocket. And now here, they're doing it with two exclusive villains. So Funko, definitely keep this up and I will continue to buy them because they look amazing in the big boxes. And now everybody, we've got our first Target exclusive, which is going to be this here, the Diamond Edition version of the Tom Holland Spider-Man with a t-shirt. And now you might notice that it says a Target Con exclusive. It just means it's part of like their Target convention that they do where they release a bunch of exclusives at once and then they give it a bit of a different sticker. So it's not like you have to go to a Target convention to get them. It'll be at every single target just with a fun sticker. And so if I see this one in stores, I will probably pick it up because it isn't exclusive and I didn't get this one in the bundle. And now everybody, we've got one more page of exclusives and then I want to go over to GameStop to actually pre-order all of the commons that I did not get in that bundle. And the ones that I'm talking about are these bad boys here. We've got the Tom Holland where he's unmasked as well as battle damage and kind of in this new pose like he's shooting out some web. And then Andrew Garfield where he's pulling off his mask with his mouth. I believe he does that in the movie at some point. I just don't exactly remember when. Oh, and by the way, the Tom Holland is exclusive to the Funko Shop, and then the Andrew Garfield one is a previous exclusive, which means you can get it at, like, comic book stores, places like that. 
And then for the bottom three, they are some amazing ones. We of course have the Tobey Maguire in his metallic suit. We've got the Green Goblin that was like the Pocket Pop that I mentioned earlier, but is now a full-size figure exclusive to Box Lunch. Oh, and I forgot to mention again, the Tobey Maguire one is going to be exclusive to Hot Topic. I mean, it says it there, but I figured I might as well mention it just in case. And then the last one that we've got there is Ned wearing Doctor Strange's cape. And I really do like how he's floating and then the cape is also floating a little bit to make it look like he's holding him in the air. That one's gonna be over at Walmart and I could seriously not be more excited about these. I feel like I've mentioned that a couple times, but I've been waiting for these guys for like almost a year now. It's really crazy that they're finally announcing them. And so now guys, like I mentioned, I wanted to go and pre-order them and I believe GameStop already has them in their system. So let's get going. And now I realize the main reason I'm here is of course for the Spider-Man pre-orders, but I figure we gotta check the back wall because you never know, there could be something new. And now off the bat, am I seeing anything? I mean, the t-shirts, maybe they got some more in. I don't remember there being two last time. And then over here, they got in Snoop Dogg, which is pretty cool. If you haven't seen this one, I did already pick it up a little while ago in a video, but I do really enjoy this wave. I'm glad they made more of him. Or actually, no, I'm glad they made him in general. I always confuse that because there was supposed to be one that came out, I think in like 2011, and then they canceled it. So it's cool to finally see him as a pop. And then what else do we have going on? We've got some of the gaming greats, and there is one that I'm looking for from the set. It might not be on the back. Oh no, they don't have it. Oh shoot. There's another one in the set though that I am on the hunt for. I don't remember who it is. And then I guess to the right of them, they do have some of the new Cowboy Bebop ones, Rugrats, My Hero, Wakanda Forever, which is cool. Oh, and then some of the new hockey ones. They've got Patrice Bergeron up here, and I think that might be the only one they've got, and we're still waiting on an Islander. I think they've made almost every team besides them. And then I forgot, guys, there is double discounts on edge cards. So I believe I get 30% off because I do have an Onyx card. And so anything that is $9.99 or cheaper, and it doesn't look like there's many. Okay, this one would count. So if there's anything that I'm really on the hunt for but maybe haven't picked up yet, this could be a good day to get it. Okay, now I'm gonna be honest, I did a little bit of digging and if there's any pops that I wanted for the collection, I probably already picked it up like America Chavez, as well as Buzz back here and Arthur's was Herbie. I think I've got the good ones. Well, everybody, I didn't just do pre-ordering. I also ended up picking up a couple of my pre-orders, which I am pretty excited about. And now if you guys are curious which ones I got, it was a bunch of the Harry Potter buildings because I'm working on a video and I don't know if I wanna mention this because I don't, ah, something pretty cool, but I'll just tell you this. I've been trying to buy every single Harry Potter building to build something. And so because this is mainly a Spider-Man video, we're not going to be taking an in-depth look at these today, but just to let you guys know, it will be coming soon, and I am super excited about these guys. And then the other one that I grabbed was this scar here, where he's actually like eating a bit of meat. It's a specialty series one. Seriously, a cool figure. Apparently, they had a couple of this one, and they sold out super quickly, so I'm glad that I pre-ordered him, because it seriously looks amazing. And then everybody, the last thing that I got was a soda, and I can't keep this sealed, because I only have one of them. It is the Santa Jackson. So let's crack it open really quickly to see if I got that chase. And then I promise we'll get back into Spider-Man. And if you guys want to see, this is what the common looks like. So I'm hoping the figure that I got today doesn't look like this. I opened up this one just the other day and I figured I might as well get another one to see if I can get both versions. And now let's see, did I get it? Um, it's kind of hard to tell. It looks like the common. Okay, now where were we with these Spider-Man stuff? Oh, I was gonna tell you which ones I pre-ordered. And so like I mentioned earlier, I wasn't gonna be going for any of the ones that you could get inside of the eight pack. So I ended up pre-ordering the MJ as well as Doctor Strange. And then I believe that's every single one because the Pocket Pops weren't in there. Oh no, I also got that other version of Tom Holland, the metallic one where he's got the web. That one's really cool. And so honestly, a pretty good day for Spider-Man, but that's not all because one other thing arrived and it was seriously perfect timing. I've had this hidden under the table the entire time. It was actually a package that just arrived today. And when I show you what's inside, you guys are not going to believe it. And like, seriously, guys, I thought it was such a crazy coincidence that these arrived. And so I guess we'll start with this one here, which is one of the Spider-Man No Way Home figures. It is the Spider-Man in his black and gold suit. I ordered these like I want to say maybe three months ago now. It is the AAA anime exclusive on Mask Spider-Man. And I gotta say, this thing looks amazing. Like seriously, I am loving this one. And I didn't just get one version, I also did the bundle where you got the chase because I wanted to have both. 
If you guys are curious, I believe I paid, I wanna say like 70 bucks for both of them. And the Chase is actually the masked version where it glows in the dark. It looks amazing. And if you're curious what's the difference between this version of the black and gold suit versus the original one that released, this one is actually him jumping in the air when the other one he was kind of like crouching a bit. And so seriously guys, a crazy package to get in today. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section below if you guys are gonna be picking up any of the Spider-Man No Way Home figures. Because as you guys could probably tell, I'm going to be getting a lot of them. Actually, I've already got a buttload of them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow.